The road to WrestleMania 27 begins now. Our story begins live on Monday Night Raw in 2010 as John Cena is the World Heavyweight Champion begins the show preparing for his one-on-one -on -one matchup against the legendary Phenom in The Undertaker. As John Cena is backstage preparing for his entrance as the road to WrestleMania starts now. As the World Heavyweight Champion comes out to huge fanfare, the crowd cheering for John Cena, the World Heavyweight Champion posing with the title, with the pyro flying in the air. It almost seems that this is a John Cena story, but in reality, this is a whole different story. The story that we're telling today is about the Celtic warrior Sheamus, who has gold in his sights, despite taking out the World Heavyweight Champion in the process. Through the table, on the floor, off the stage, Sheamus makes a huge impact in his villain story. I want to give a shout out to Aiden Wrestling on YouTube, where you can follow him on Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube.com as well, where he makes his own GM mode episodes. And here we go. After delivering a high cross off the stage, through a table, onto the floor, Sheamus has made an impact at the expense of John Cena, the world champion. It wouldn't take long for Sheamus to compete in action, because on that episode of Raw, the Celtic Warrior meets the American Dragon as Sheamus will take on Daniel Bryan. And in that matchup, Sheamus was able to deliver a high cross to, to get the victory over Daniel Bryan in a one-on-one -on -one matchup showing the world that Sheamus is after the World Heavyweight Championship and Cena's days as champion are numbered. As we're on the next episode of Monday Night Raw live in Orlando, Florida, Sheamus is in the ring addressing the WWE Universe regarding his desire to become the World Heavyweight Champion and does not want to be a part of the six-man bragging rights tag team matchup between Raw and SmackDown brands, and which led for SmackDown superstars Wade Barrett, Jack Swagger, and The Miz to interrupt the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus was in no mood for Miz's antics and decided to challenge him on a three on three matchup on Monday Night Raw, which led for the Miz to go on and disrespect Sheamus a lot more to a point where Sheamus has had enough and he wants to fight. Despite Miz's words landing Wade Barrett into trouble, Sheamus was able to hold his own against Wade Barrett in a one on one brawl on the stage. Which then led for Sheamus almost wanted to throw Wade Barrett off the stage, but luckily Miz and Jack Swag was there for the save, but it was not enough to stop the tyranny of the Celtic warrior Sheamus, who stands tall at the end of this scenario. Which then leads to a six man tag team matchup Team Raw vs. Team SmackDown as Bragdon Wrights come early. Sheamus teams up with William Regal and Drew McIntyre against The Miz, Wade Barrett, and Jack Swagger. How will Sheamus fare in this six man tag? We find out in moments. Can we just acknowledge how ugly Wade Barrett's pipes are? <laughs> Bro! It just looks so ugh. In the middle of the six man tag team match, The Miz decides to dis disrespect Wade Barrett as much as he did at the beginning of the show as Miz tags in Jack Swagger. And then later in the match, Jack Swagger decides to tag in The Miz rather than Wade Barrett, which seemed to be odd as Wade Barrett was able to lay out both Miz and Swagger at their own expense while Sheamus able to capitalize and take advantage for his team allowing Team Raw with the victory. On the next episode of Monday Night Raw, live in Atlanta, Georgia, in the State Farm Arena, Sheamus gets to compete against Cody Rhodes as the road to bragging rights continues, and Sheamus is going to continue his path of destruction as he takes on the dashing Cody Rhodes and defeats him with a 1, 2, 3. Sheamus gets the win.
on the Raw Go Home Show before bragging rights. In Charleston, South Carolina, Sheamus again competes in a six-man tag, but now it's time for another word from Jim. Powerbomb has uh, got to be one of the worst moves to deliver to somebody. I mean, think about it like this. You got someone's sweaty nuts in your here? face. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to look at it deeply, <laughs> if you want to look at it deeply, ah, look at this. you got someone's nuts oh, in your face, reflex. and you have to breathe. <laughs> you have to breathe. <laughs> what are you do here? Countered by Sheamus. <laughs> you have to deliver the move, so. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna take a lot of energy. In the middle of the six man tag team match on Raw, Sheamus was able to hit the high cross finishing maneuver onto the rated R superstar, thus getting the 1 2 3 victory for his team. Again, building momentum, heading towards bragging rights. As Edge got in the face of Sheamus after the matchup, but then got interrupted by Triple H, who gave us a huge announcement regarding the number one contendership status for championship gold following bragging rights announcing that between raw and smackdown teams the winning team the winning brand will be able to get an opportunity at a championship of their choice as everybody is shocked by the announcement willem regal approaches sheamus claiming that he has a plan will this plan lead him to victory at bragging rights In Birmingham, Alabama, live on pay-per-view, it's WWE Bragging Rights, where Team Raw must take on Team SmackDown, as Sheamus looking to lead his team to victory, perhaps, as he gets rid of SmackDown's Cody Rhodes with a 1-2-3. But then later on in the matchup, it is the Big Show that appears in the six-man tag, as Mark Henry decides to get the tag after Sheamus got shoved in his corner, but Big Show able to take care of the world's strongest man with ease one knockout punch out goes mark henry as big show celebrates with the wwe universe about the elimination william regal tries to get crafty but it backfired as big show with a big boot able to take down regal and was able to get another elimination under his belt as big show continues to dominate as his tag team match rolls on a few minutes later it's Sheamus in the corner, pounding away on the giant Big Show. But it's Big Show who looks to gain an advantage over the Celtic Warrior. But then Drew McIntyre and Triple H, members of Sheamus' team on Raw, was able to intervene, trying to take out the Big Show. But he's just too damn big, which led for the Celtic Warrior to give them the much-needed assist. With that much-needed assisted suplex by all three men, it was enough to take out the world's largest athlete. Later. Mysterio's out, and now both teams are even at two apiece. Oh my gosh! Wow! What are Sheamus and Wade Barrett doing? If you remember at the end of Raw, Rhythm Regal said that he had a plan regarding this matchup, which led for Sheamus and Wade Barrett, both men who are on opposite teams were able to coexist along with Regal and Drew McIntyre, laying out Swagger and Edge, forming a group, which then didn't take long for Edge to catch Sheamus backstage and letting him know that at Survivor Series, it would be Edge, Alberto Del Rio, Jack Swagger, and the world's largest athlete, The Big Show, who are looking for revenge after what happened at Bragging Rights against the new group of Sheamus, Wade Barrett, William Regal, and Drew McIntyre, which led for Edge to swing at the Celtic Warrior backstage, leading to a backstage brawl. Even though the Reddit R Superstar started the brawl, it's the Celtic Warrior with the final kick able to knock down Edge. 
which then led for Edge's tag team partners at Survivor Series to step up. Alberto Del Rio and Jack Swagger were both taken out by the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus compromising his opposition. But Edge was able to get the upper hand at the last moment, spear onto the crate, letting it be known that Sheamus' future awaits at Survivor Series. It is week 5 after Sheamus took out Del Rio in a backstage brawl, these two are going to have a one on one match which ends with the Celtic Warrior on top. Sheamus delivers a high cross onto Mexico's greatest export and was able to hook the leg and get the 1-2-3 victory. After Sheamus takes out John Cena and displaying the fact that he wants the world title to the WWE Universe to then teaming up with Wade Barrett to take out Jack Swagger and Edge at Bragging Rights. To displaying his dominance in the ring, the Celtic Warrior is on a roll and his momentum continues when he teams up with Wade Barrett to take on Jack Swagger and The Big Show in a normal tag team match, a preview of their tag team matchup at Survivor Series along with Edge, William Regal, Drew McIntyre and Del Rio. Sheamus has a lot on his plate as we're on the road to WrestleMania 27.